Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are going to be taking a look at a ship I've been working on for the last few months. Now, I've decided to go ahead and throw this up on the Unity Asset Store, but I wanted to get all my videos out beforehand. So in this video, we're just going to be going over the ship. Uh, you can see starting off, I've went with a black design in terms of color with red trim. And this particular ship is called the Origin. Now, I might want to use this ship for later designs, so I have went ahead and named this one the Origin SPS, the Surface Plotting System. And that's the basis of this whole ship. If we take a look right down here, we can see the dish. And the idea behind this ship is that you would fly over a planet, an uncharted planet, maybe 100 meters, 200 meters above the surface. And this dish would then go and plot the surface. So you would have that data. So that's really the whole purpose behind this ship. We've got a spotlight up front here you can see. And then on the side here, these little grates are for the oxygen system, but we'll get into that later. Uh, you can see the whole ship works off of four VTOL engines, and then you've got your big thruster on the back, and this would be used uh, if you were traveling through space. Because the, the thing about this ship is, is that it cannot, it cannot land on a surface without proper oxygen you know it's it's not pressurized and we'll get into that on the inside but the lore behind it is is this ship would need to go and dock up with say a mothership or a space station somewhere with a pressurized environment if we take a closer look at the VTOL engines we can see that it's made up of nine smaller engines. Then we've got a little fuel cap here. And on the top, we've got this, this deal sticking up. And you may be wondering what that's for. Well, just the lore I've drummed up, you might need a handful of these ships to plot a decent sized planet. And so the mothership would be carrying all these and rather having them sit in the hangar, what you could do is you could stick some prongs through there and just use a crane to lift it up. That way it could be stored up high so that the ground space is usable. That was the idea behind that. And then on the side here, we do have a little communications antenna and a window. Let's go ahead and move inside. We'll start up front and work our way to the back. So up front we've got a pretty basic cockpit. We've got some MFDs, some keypads, and then up here we have two older style CRTV monitors. I just like the looks of it. I think it's cool. Um, got some lighting. And if we take a look towards the back, we'll start here. This is our O2 scrubber. Moving over to the left, we've got a control panel, and this will operate various features of the spaceship. Moving further in, we have a bed. Of course, we've got the pillow tied down there so it don't float away. Here we have our storage compartments. You can store clothes in here, uh, stuff, for, you know, bedding stuff, whatever you may need. Um, maybe a couple changes of clothes. And moving here, we've got a microwave that could be useful. Here is our computer systems. This is going to do all the hard work once you're, you get feedback off the dish. That information is then transported to these computing systems, which will then plot the planet. Right here, we have a reactor. This gives us our power. Just to the right of that, we have our fuel tanks. And if we move over here, we've got a nice little spot to eat. Uh, this button here and this button over here just extends the chairs. Then we've got a drink dispenser refrigerator combo. So you can load this up before you leave uh, and you'll have drinks on hand. And then 
this bottom portion is the refrigerator and this deal up here on top is an ice box. Now moving over to the left of that, we've got a small little personal computer here. If you, you know, for some reason you need to communicate with somebody, this is going to be the place to do it. So we've got a chair for that as well. And then in the very back, this is our, our lift. This is how we get on and off the ship. So now that you have an, a, a basic idea of the ship, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the animations. Go ahead and pop out here. We'll look at the landing gear animations first. Let's do the front one. So we have the animation of it going up. And then we've got the animation of it going down. That's pretty sturdy landing gear setup. Then we'll look at the rear. Going up. And going down. Moving on to the back here, we'll take a look at our lift. Look at it coming up. And then we'll look at it from the inside as well. And we'll do going down. All right, next up we have the chairs, the seats, not chairs, pretty simple animation there. And the other one does the same thing, just in and out. Now, one of my favorite things on the ship here, and it was one of the most complex things to add actually, so I was trying to make this ship very realistic. Like if I, I, I thought about this for hours and hours and hours, if I had to live in this ship, what would I need? And I got everything in the place here, used up all my open space. And then I thought, oh my goodness, what if I have to use the bathroom? Well, there's no other good spot to put a toilet and you don't really just want your toilet just hanging out in the middle of nowhere. So I hit it. I hit it in the service compartment. So down here, we've got a little service compartment. Um, it's an area that's not really used. Um, but up front here is where I place the toilet. It's uh, It was pretty complex getting everything working, but let's just go ahead and take a look here. This is pretty interesting in my opinion. This is fun. The floor comes up, pushes all the way up, that way you can get underneath of it. And then you've got this little platform, you can sit on the toilet, use the bathroom, flush. And then down here on the bottom of the ship, this is actually where the waste is sent out. So we've got that. And then we've got the down animation as well. The only issue here that I could think of in terms of safety is the toilet would work off of one of these buttons. And if you just so happen to press the button, I don't know, maybe you were still sitting on the toilet. You got it, it, it fell down in there and then the, the ceiling come down. Maybe there needs to be an emergency button down here to send the toilet back up again. I don't know. I think if you've done that, maybe you don't deserve to come back up. I don't know. Oh man, it's funny. Yeah, so I think we've hit a lot of the main points of the ship. I spent a lot of time working on this. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts, concerns, criticism. Let me know down in the comments section below. I'll catch you guys next time.